uh, so we keep the before the game cameras rolling. And uh, Sam Lane <laughs> and our good friend Ryan Fitzgerald uh, went vox popping on Brownlow night. Three, two, one. Yeah. Who was the biggest disgrace for the Tigers tonight? Rich wow. was on fire when I rocked up. Yeah, yeah, Paddy bad. <coughs> Very bad. Was he? Oh, he's a horrific. First Brownlow? He's a bad and they are horrific. Be honest, <laughs> mate. Who was the biggest piss hit? Well, number one vote would probably went to uh, probably Jimmy Clement. Two votes to James Clement because he was just just off his head. He's just James Clement. <laughs> yep. And then one vote to Alan Dyde. But three votes had to go to uh, Heath Shaw. He was he was blind <laughs> before even the night started. At the Carlton table, look down. The, who was the biggest disgrace? Three, two, one. The biggest disgrace was Kay Simpson. Is this your first Brownlow, Simmer? First ever, and he's just disgraced me on and national TV. <laughs> you've written yourself off. Now. Everyone's in bed right now. He left early. Yeah, he's in bed. In fact, the St Kilda table in general yep. was terrible. How do you feel about being Nick Del Santo's date oh. tonight? How was it? Well, he's uh, he's got a lot of good-looking girls on the go. But Bridget, he's Bridget. Is it really a good date? No, I, I, I don't think I was showing enough flesh for him. Have a look at this circle here. What might have been? What might have been? Johnson, West, Goodwin. Robbed. Andrew should have doctored the votes up. <laughs> Cross Goods' name out. <laughs> Abe Buchanan, three votes last round. Oh, Where's Goody? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Scott West has finally <laughs> taken home a Brownlow, even though it's enclosed in ice. <laughs> Who do you want to thank with your ice, Brownlow? Yes, you go. Magnificent work from Sam and Ryan Fitzgerald, and we can welcome Ryan to the show again. He's outside right now. It's a bit of chilly out there. He's out with some contestants for the Gillette Sprint Challenge. Fitzy, what's going on out there? It is colder out here than the reception I got from Andrew Dimitri on Monday <laughs> night, guys. Andrew, apparently I've been suspended for a year. Is that true? Uh, for 51 weeks. Oh, that, that is ridiculous. I want to appeal that young man. I'll tell you what. But we are out here again tonight for the Gillette M3 Power Nitro Pre-Season <laughs> Challenge again. Yeah. We've got three challenges and we've got three suckers again. Come and meet them over here. Guys, first up, we've got Lee Montagna from the Saints. How are you, Lee? All right? Good, Ryan. Going well. Now, is it true that uh, it's been a few emotional weeks down at St. Land the last couple of weeks, mate? Is it true if you win the Gillette Challenge tonight, you have to hide the razor blades from uh, Grant Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, probably Nick Rewalt will have to hide the razor blades from. Uh, he was more distraught, I think, than Tom himself. But, uh, no, nah, looking forward to tonight. Should be good. Yeah, beautiful. Come over here. Timmy Nodding from Brisbane. How are you, Timmy? Yeah, very good, Fozzie. How are you? You've had a couple of farsies out the back, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you were supposed to have a bit of a cheer squad here tonight. Jonathan Brown and Simon Black's in, in town. Two names, kids, remember they, and they've got a good future, those kids, but uh, they didn't rock up. What happened? No, well, Brownie's home in bed, and uh, I think Simon's uh, locked up, so there was a bit of a missing. <laughs> No, they're all right. They, they just couldn't make it out. It's too far. No, thanks for coming down from Brisbane, mate. Now, last competitor, Shannon Burns. He's back here from Geelong. How are you, Burns? He's good, son? Yeah, well, thanks for Ozzy. Now, Lingy, mate, last year, you were on the show last year. Lingy got stuck in here. He said you look like Anthony Kalia. How has he, how's the support been from Lingy this year? You've had a great year. Has he sort of got up yet? Yeah, he's got up, man, and I'd like to thank the Australian public for the, the great gag of naming Lingy fourth sexiest player in the AFL. It's, <laughs> it's fantastic. Great sense of humour. Well done. Congratulations to the Ginger Fox. Now, for a bit of support every year, come over here. We've got the mascots. We've got the bomber over here. The bomber over here. We have the, we have the bulldog. And last of all, have a look at this magpie. This is like a second-rate reserve magpie that Collingwood have sent us. I think it's from Frankston and it's, and it's been in rehab, but that's the best that we can do. Let's go through the first challenge. It's so exciting. This one's called Season's End, and we know at the end of the season, there's a lot of surgery going on this year. So these boys are going to start in the start line here. Have a look down here. They've got to put on a surgical gown. They've got to put on this hairnet that substitute as a face mask if, if Mark Rusciuto rocks up. And we've got goggles as well. The boys then have to run down. They have to lay on this stretcher. Once they're on the stretcher, the mascots pick them up and they have to run down the lane here towards the end. They've got to pick up helium balloons and flowers on the way. Because we all know when you do your knee during the year, you love getting balloons. <laughs> so, where's me hooter? Here's me hooter, thanks, love. <laughs> Alright. Boys, you ready? Put, put down your beers, you idiots. Alright. 
Okay, ready? Sit! All right, the boys are off. Good start. Tim Notting has got the hand net on. Oh, Tim, you've got to finish first. He's on. He's on. Timmy, he's grabbed the balloons. Come on, the mascot. Who are they? They're catching up. Come on, Oh, there goes one of them. There it goes. You bloody little ripper. We have the winner. It's Timmy Notting over here from Brisbane. Timmy. Got Great start to the night, son. Brilliant start to the night. Hopefully you can come away with the goods at the end. Anything you want to say to your fans? Yeah, no, it's the first thing we've won all year, really. <laughs> I just think that the fans can get out of here tomorrow uh, day, some t stage, and uh, enjoy the day. Beautiful, guys. Back to you in the studio.